Hello everyone, my name's Mstar and welcome to another Mstar Gaming Tutorial. I play on the PlayStation 4 North American server and I've just got a guild member with me right now, Paul. He just wants to know how to dye your costume and hat and your equipment. So I'm at my primary residence and all you need if you've purchased an outfit station. Now an outfit station is located in all the main cities. For example, let's zoom out right now. So let's get out of our team. Let's go into Somerset, for example. All right, if you've got a DLC. So see these main areas like Eleanor, there'll be, there'll be a station in there, okay? Outfit station. Or if you're in the guild, and one of the guild members has it, you can use that. Okay, uh, let's go to Glenumbria. That's a starting location for the Daggerfall Covenant. Let's zoom in in Daggerfall, for example. Let's have a look here. So in here, there will be a die station, okay? But for the purpose of this tutorial, I've got one in my primary residence, so this is an outfit station. You can also purchase one for your house. So what we'll do, let's go into the um, house editor. Let's go browse, and let's tab across to purchase. So I'll show you how much it is to purchase one. If you want to use real life money. Die station right there, 4,000 crown points. You don't have to do that. What you can do is you can buy it from rollers with uh, writ vouchers, okay? So as long as you do your crafting writs, um, you'll be able to purchase a die station for your home. All right, so we'll get out of that. I'm just gonna go into the outfit station real quick. Okay, so at the moment I'm wearing a costume. The costume I'm wearing, I got it from the Skyrim um, expansion and I bought the collector's bundle. So I just want to do the costume and hat first. Okay, so the hat I'm wearing. So you can pick different colors. So I went purple. Okay, and then with the second color, you can go black. Actually, I'll change the colors for the purpose of the tutorial. We'll go a darker purple and then all you got to do here is press square if you're on the PlayStation apply changes and if you look at my hat you've got a light purple and a dark purple okay so that's for the hat now say I've got equipment on and you want to know how to change your equipment color okay so you can tab across the styles you can change different styles so for the chest so as long as you know the style, you can um, change it. Some of it will cost money. Some of them, if you collected it in the collector's bundle, it'll be free. For example, Divine Prosecution. I got this set in the Somerset. When I bought Somerset, I got this um, outfit style for free. So if you select that, it'll be free and you can change your style. Now, if you want to know how to dye it, you go across the dyes. As long as you've unlocked the color, some of them require quests, main quest completion, and it'll unlock all these different colors you can add, okay? So let's say Master Gold, and there you have it, see how it's all gold, so it's up to you. The limit is to your imagination, okay? And then you just press square to apply. You can dye anything guys all your armor all your weapons you can even change your weapon style if you look at my bow these are the different styles you can get for your bow okay as long as you've unlocked the um style styles can be bought from the guild trader just look under motifs there you have it guys if you're new to ESO and you weren't sure how to dye your gear or where to go and this is the tutorial for you. My name's Mstar from Mstar Gaming. If you found this tutorial helpful, please hit the like and subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Thank you and goodbye.